This is Travelport Accelerator, the pitches. Six innovative technology companies are going head to head to pitch their ideas on how to transform travel retailing through hyper-personalized digital marketing. Who will come out on top? Ready to hear the finalist pitches are our judges, six top experts from some of the biggest names in travel. Up next is Every Mundo. Hi everyone, uh, thanks so much for having me. My name is Seth Cassell. I am the co-founder and president of Every Mundo. Every Mundo is the global leader in fair marketing technology. This is technology that enables primarily airlines uh, to bring live fares everywhere and anywhere across the website. We provide the airlines with tools to do the following. Number one, to launch pages across their own website for every route that they fly. So first and foremost, we provide technology to bring live dynamic fares across the airline's website. What that means are tools to uh, explore fares, to find fares in context and based on business rules. In practice, this means deploying pages for every route that the airline flies, every destination they service, every origin from which they fly, but also any combination of routes. So we create or launch, enable them to launch pages for flights to an event, flights under $100, flights over Labor Day weekend, flights to the beach, things like that. And on those pages, uh, they deploy what we call air modules, flight search and fare display widgets. We have an ever-growing catalog of uh, tables, lists, carousels, mosaics, histograms, calendars, maps with different filters so that the user can arrive on that page, they can engage with fares, and continue their journey through to booking. Now we extend this capability into the digital marketing channels as well. So we provide tools to put live fares in Google, Facebook, Instagram, uh, display networks, email. And so the idea here is that a user from the beginning of their journey is engaging with fares, is then brought into an environment where they're immersed with fares. And then every touch point along the way is aiming them into the booking process. So this, this might seem like a silly thing to say, but if you want someone to buy something, you need to tell them what it costs. And so that is, that is what we do. So we're doing this right now for 70 airlines around the world, um, you know, as large as American and United, but also as small as Cape Air and uh, Safari Link and some other very small carriers. So as long as an airline can book a flight, this product has relevance. Now, what, what brought me to you guys today is the following. Over the last couple of years, we've branched out beyond airlines. We've started deploying not just fair marketing technology, but vacation package offer marketing technology to the vacation package arms of uh, various airlines we work with. And so in our dialogue uh, with Travelport, it dawned on us that while we benchmark against the biggest, baddest, most sophisticated OTAs in the world, that's not the case for most OTAs. And there's a whole world out there of OTAs that potentially need similar technology to what we're providing the airlines. And so we're very excited to hear your guys' questions and feedback, so thank you. In regards to NDC, as more carriers proliferate dynamic pricing, how do you then prevent moving forward, presenting something that you, has been presented to one customer, presenting it now to another, and that fare is no longer available, and thus potentially generating some disappointment when it's no longer the fare that I saw? Absolutely. So when we present these fares, we are very careful to uh, disclose in no uncertain terms in and around those, uh, those fares that these are fares seen by others recently. There is a very high bar of regulatory compliance required to play this game. <laughs> um, and, and we are living in that world, right? We have uh, received the proverbial colonoscopy from many airlines legal departments uh, in making sure that the way in which we present fares, the way in which we store fares, the way in which we pre preserve an audit trail and disclose this uh, is effective. And we're not showing them the price that they absolutely are guaranteed to have available to book. We're trying to give them a sense of what's been out there recently so that they start to book. We're, when we display a fare, it will be accompanied by the outbound date, the return date, the cabin class, um, if the airline wants even the timestamp of when that fare was seen down to the minute, right? It'll say like, this fare was seen 47 minutes ago. We accompany that fare with a lot of information 
And then we have filters on the different widgets so that you can filter down by, by travel you know, departure date, um, by origin or destination, by budget, by travel interests, cabin class, for example, giving the user the control to play with these fares and really get a sense of what the cost will be so that when they arrive, it's not sticker shock. Imagine if when you go grocery shopping, you're taking everything off the shelf and you only find out what it costs when you go through the checkout. Uh, that, that's essentially the, the user experience before we showed up and made this more feasible for the airlines. Thank you. Thank you. Every Mundo is super cool. When you're talking about viability or commercialization, it's already there. They've got 70 major airlines, 70 plus major airlines and other non-airline customers.